discipline yourself. Get up at the same time. I would highly recommend all those young people out there who are listening, like, you want to get a jump on life? Get the hell out of bed in the morning. You know, as I've got older, I've got up earlier and earlier. Now, that's partly because you don't need as much sleep, but it's also partly because I've got more and more discipline. Like, get up early in the morning and get your things done. Man, learn to get up at six in the morning and you'll be one deadly creature, especially if you can get to work. You'll have half your damn day done by the time other people haul their sorry asses out of bed. And so that's a massive, massive advantage. Get your sleep cycle organized so you get up in the morning. Learn how to do it. No excuses. I'm too tired in the morning. I don't like mornings. Who cares? That's not relevant. It's like discipline yourself so you can manage it. Schedule your meals because that's a good disciplinary routine. And then learn to use a calendar like Google Calendar. Most of you, many of you out there do not use a calendar. Okay, a calendar is not a prison and it's not a tyrant. Not if you use it properly. A calendar keeps anxiety at bay. It makes sure that you do what you need to do, which is important because otherwise you fall behind. But if you use it properly, it also helps you plan what you want to do. So I could say, well, lay out your damn calendar and design the days you would like to have. You can put in all sorts of things in there you want to do and that would be good for you. And that's a really good way to start being more industrious. Make a plan. You need a plan for three years. You need a plan for the next year. You need a plan for the next six months. You need a plan for the next three months. You need a plan for the week. You need a plan for the day. You need a plan for the hour. All of that. All of that. I make lists constantly of what I have to do. And they're like daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. You need a vision of who you could be, what character you could have. Three to five years out, you can't go much farther than that because life is too unpredictable. But you want to write the things down. Because what are you going to do? You're going to stumble around and get what you need? And if you stumble around like you're blind, you're not going to get anywhere. And then you're going to suffer. And then you're going to be bitter. And then you're going to be cruel. That's hell. That's a bad outcome. So unless you want that, don't aim for it. and Or, or aim for the opposite because that's how you get out of it. Stop thinking that the world is different than you are. This is why I ask people to clean up their rooms. It's like, your room is you. It's you. And so you go in there and you clean up your room. You're cleaning you up too. The same way. You're developing discipline. You're putting yourself in order. You're developing a vision of the future. You're figuring out how to dress. You're figuring out how to take care of your things. You're interacting with the microcosmos that you have in front of you and learning how to balance chaos and order. There's no difference between you and what's around you. And that's a very difficult thing to understand. And so you want to act in a way that's good for you, but good for everything else at the same time. <music>